Hi, welcome back to our video. Today, we will talk about determining the sample size, how to compute it, what is the formula that we are going to use. Those are the things that we are going to learn in this video. In research, we seldom use the entire population or do census because of the time and cost that will be involved. Before the collection of data, it is important to determine the sample size of the population if it's very large because, again, it will involve money, it will involve time, it will involve effort. And we want to finish the study as fast as we can. Let us remember that the sample, which is small, is a representative of the population that we are going to use. And the characteristics of the whole or entire population is described using the characteristics observed from the sample. Again, let me use the one sack of rambutan. Now, if you are going to see a vendor who is showing to you one sample of rambutan, he will tell you, Sir, please taste this rambutan. Whatever is your decision of that single rambutan will be your decision to the whole sack of rambutan that the vendor is selling. To determine the sample size, we will be using the Slovens formula, which is small letter n equals to big letter n all over to the sum of 1 and the product of big letter n and e raised to the power of 2, where the small letter n is the sample size, the big letter n is the population, and letter e is the margin of error. Let us have this example number one. A researcher wants to know the average income of the families living in Barangay Kagwapuhan, which has 2,500 residents. Calculate the sample size using the 5% margin of error. And we are going to answer how many families will be included in the sample. Based on the problem, the population is 2,500 residents, and we are going to use the margin of error 5%, or we convert it into decimal 0 0.05. Okay, this is the solution. Using the formula that was presented a while ago, small letter n is equal to big letter n all over the sum of 1 plus big letter n and E raised to the power of 2. Big letter N, which is the population, is replaced by 2,500 on the numerator and denominator, and E, which is the margin of error, is replaced by 0 0.05. We try to operate first the one that has parentheses. We extracted first 0 0.05 raised to the power of 2, and the answer of it was multiplied to 2,500, and we got the value of 6.25. The rest are copied, the 2,501. Now, it's time to operate this. We have 2,500 divided by 7.25, and we got an answer of 344.8. Take note, these are families, so we are not going to accept decimals. So we are going to round it up to the nearest whole number. That is why we have 345 families. To answer the question, we are going to say, therefore, there will be 345 families will be included in the sample. So the problem of the researcher minimized to 345 families out of the 2,500 residents. So the experiences and the answers of these 345 families will be used to describe the experiences of these 2,500 families. Example number two. A group of researchers will conduct a study to find out the opinion of a particular community regarding the oil price hike. If there are 10,000 residents in the community and the margin of error to be used is 
what is the sample size. Based on the problem, the population is 10,000 and the margin of error that we are going to use is 10%. Convert it to decimal, we have 0 0.10. Okay, let us solve this one using the same formula, the Slovens formula. Sample is the small letter N, the, the big letter N, these are the populations. So we are going to substitute the given. So we have here for the population that is 10,000 and for the margin of error, we have 0 0.10. The same thing that we're going to do from the previous example, we are going to start operating from the one with the exponent. So we have 0 0.10 raised to the power of 2 and we will multiply it to 10,000 and we will get a value of 100. And then we are going to operate this 10,000 divided by 101 and we will get an answer of 99.01. Again, we are not going to have decimal since these are residents. So these are whole numbers. So we are going to round it off to the nearest whole number so we have 99 residents and to answer what is the sample size therefore there will be 99 residents that will be included in the sample size okay i have here example number three a researcher plans to conduct a study but the population is very large with 18,000 total respondents. Find the sample size if the margin of error is A, 10%, letter B, 5%, letter C, 1%, and letter D, 3%. Please leave your answers in the comment below. That is all for today. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.